How do I remove someone from a group FaceTime call? Hello there. Today, we're going to discuss a very handy feature of group FaceTime calls, how to remove someone from the call. If you've ever found yourself in a situation where you need to manage your FaceTime call participants, then this guide is for you. What is a group FaceTime call? Group FaceTime calls allow you to connect with multiple people at the same time. Whether it's for work, school, or just catching up with friends, it can be a fantastic tool. However, managing the participants can sometimes be a bit tricky, and there are instances when you may need to remove a participant from the call. How can I start a group FaceTime call? To start a group FaceTime call, simply open the FaceTime app on your iPhone or iPad, tap the plus button at the top right, then add the people you want to connect with. You can add them via their phone number or Apple ID. Once you've selected all your participants, tap on the video or audio button to start the FaceTime call. Remember, you can add up to 32 people in a single FaceTime group call. How do I remove someone from a group FaceTime call? Currently, as of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, Apple does not allow you to remove a participant directly from a group FaceTime call. Only the participant can hang up to leave the call themselves. This means if you need someone removed, you'd have to politely ask them to exit the call. If you need to continue the conversation without that individual, the rest of the participants may need to start a new FaceTime call. It's essential to keep up with Apple's updates as they continuously improve and add features to their apps and services. Future updates may provide a function to remove participants from a group FaceTime call. Thank you for joining us on this journey to understand the nuances of managing group FaceTime calls. It's clear that as of now, removal of a participant can't be done directly, but we hope that future updates might bring this feature. In the meantime, remember to handle such situations with respect and understanding. We hope this video has been helpful and provided clear guidance on managing group FaceTime calls. See you in the next one.